Hey Horde, I quickly want to go over some things, um, mainly how to get from our home, 7RM, to an area that is a little less violent and where you can mine and red a little bit more safer. Now this area is another piece of space we own called the GME Pocket. So uh, let's open the map for a moment. And see where we are. We are currently in 7RM, which is our home, which is where most of the PvP and action happens. This is good. This is exactly what we want. However, as a new player, or even experienced player at times, sometimes you also want to just chill a bit, do some mining, do some PvE, um, and not get the rest 24-7. Nothing is ever safe in EVE, but uh, it's good to have a little bit of a more quiet area. This quiet area is basically this area where like most of the headquarters will be in GME but you can use all these systems pretty much um, so if we would right click on the map and set our destination here you can see it's nine jumps and nine jumps for new players could be a little problematic especially since some of these systems might be camped you might run into issues getting there stuff like that Luckily, there's a pretty easy solution for that called jump bridges, which are these green lines you'll see right over here. So, what we see is we kind of want to take this jump bridge, which is the jump bridge reading from FN, which is next door to 7RM, or home, to C4C, which is next to GME. So, uh, in order to do that, we set our destination, as I just did, by right-clicking on where we want to go, setting destination, or even typing up here GME dash, you'll see it pop up here and you can also do right click and set destination from there. Okay, so now we have a destination. Um, where was the jump bridge again? The, let's open up the map. The jump bridge was in FNMX6. Okay, so we need to go there, which is one jump away from 7RM. So what we do, we right click, we look at the Stargate. Ah, here, here's the Stargate for FN M X6. So let's go there. Uh, let's do jump and let's go there. So one thing to keep in mind in NullSec is uh, there will be uh, bubbles in NullSec, which will stop you from warping. Let's hope that doesn't ha where can happen in this case because I kind of want to keep the video short. But if you want to learn more about warp bubble bubbles, make sure you uh, look up our class on the same YouTube channel as this video is on, called Traveling New Eden Safely. There we go in depth on how to uh, dodge them, how to not get killed by them, and basically how they work, which is really instrumental in basically living in NullSec. So as you can see, we kind of hit the hole through the, um, through the bubbles, and these are the bubbles I talk about. Just very briefly, when you're inside one, you cannot warp until you fly out. So uh, now we're in the FM, um, and what we want to do is we want to work to the jump bridge. How you do that is you right click on space again, and you look for cooperation bookmarks, and there are tacticals, and there's a jump bridge. So we go to the jump bridge, we warp to zero, and we warp there. Okay, so now we're on the way to the jump bridge, and there's a few things you need to keep in mind with the jump bridge. Uh, the first and most important thing is jump fatigue, which we'll go over in a moment once we go through. Another thing is that there are certain ships you can use that will alleviate jump fatigue, which are mostly in, in, in industrial class vessels. We hand some of these vessels out to people who um, use, use the jump bridge a lot, so they don't build, build, up, build up as much fatigue. Um, so that's an important thing to keep in mind. So we've arrived at the jump bridge. Uh, you'll see another blue circle here. This is not a bubble. Uh, you'll spot that by the... Uh, a warp bubble doesn't really have this, and it's a different color of blue. And there's actually a player-owned structure in here, which you can see over here, which the jump bridge is anchored on. So if we want to use the jump bridge, we right-click on the jump bridge, either in space or on our overview. And we... I generally prefer clicking in space though and we use jump through and this will get us to C4C which is next door to GME as we saw in a little while, little while ago so we jump through and you see these two icons and these two icons are very important 
So now we're on the other side, and suddenly you see that our route got like got to nothing. It's just one jump. So um, let's complete our jump to GME, and meanwhile go over jump fatigue a little bit. Jump fatigue comes in two icons. One icon, the first time you activate it, it will be an hour, which is the jump fatigue timer. And the other icon is the jump reactivation timer, which comes in, I think, about a little, little over five minutes or something like that. So uh, what does that do? Well, the jump reactivation timer prevents you from using a jump bridge or jump uh, for the duration of the timer. So uh, for the next five minutes, I cannot use the jump bridge again. But then what does this other timer do? Well, this other timer, basically as long as this timer is active, your next jump will accumulate more jump fatigue making the red timer, so the time that you cannot use a jump bridge, much longer. So therefore, um, you need to use this with care. Uh, they tweak this a couple of times, but at the moment, if I'm not mistaken, the maximum amount of jump reactivation timer you can accumulate is five days. And this goes exponentially. Each time I would jump after this, I will get more and more jump fatigue. So if you, if you always want to be stuck with like five to six minutes of of a jump reactivation timer you, you need to wait an hour before you jump again it's pretty safe to jump one or two times after each other but after that you really want to get rid of the the, the, the the blue timer instead because otherwise you're just going to have a bad time and potentially lock yourself out of using jump bridges for a few days so uh, let's dock up at uh, GME which is uh, under the Citadel structures and then GME staging and then we're pretty much here. And you can basically start mining, PVEing, such as belt ratting or anim ratting or whatever you want here. Keep in mind that this video is pretty current for our current location in Horde. And where we live and where we go uh, changes regularly. So at the very least, this uh, video shows you how to use jump bitches, what jump fatigue is, but where you actually need to go to do PVE or go back to 7RM to do PvP might be a little out of date. If you're unsure, asking new beans what our current ratting pocket is and people will generally po point you out into the right direction. You can al always always ask where, where jump bridges are or, or if we have any. I hope this video was, was useful guys and I'll talk to you later.